Hello world, welcome back to the Best Start Guide. It is day 61, and we just got a huge influx of energy, so I used all of it to train up food so that I can, if I just take up my notes here, I can uh, get my next six star. So I, I've come up with a list of four things I wanted to do today. I wanna pull that, that sacred, as you can see kind of shimmering there. It's a good day for it, because it's a 2x event and we've got a chance of pulling Asil and the Stalwart. We also have Ner Giganti Archer coming up, but I, I think I've decided I'd rather have this guy for what he could do for the account because he could have really good synergy with the 6 star that I want to make today, which is um, Rathalos Blademaster. I think that's going to be our next six star, but that could change depending on what pops out of that sacred. You know what? It probably isn't going to change that all that much, but we're going to do that. We're going to pull some souls. I want to talk about Yaga the Insatiable. Um, I pulled him yesterday. I didn't do a, a video yesterday because I didn't really feel there was anything worth uh, mentioning. I really wanted to just buckle down and make more food. So, um, and also I had to wait for these, uh, these five mage killers to level up in the Guardian. So this is how I'd recommend you do your six stars, just basically going forward. Once you're able to set this up, you can stick, you can stick five, five four-star units and just let them passively level while you do other things. This is particularly important if you want to do that thing where you maybe only play one hour a day max. Remember when I set out this goal back in episode one and, and that just didn't happen. I ended up making a two hour episode and I think the following episode was two hours and I don't think I've had a single day where I've played for only an hour. So I'd like to get to that point. Really I want to be able to play less raid but this is the way the game works. It is this this slow, brutal, grindy process but in the last couple of days, I did manage to make enough food to level up all these mage killers, which I'm going to do momentarily. I did want to talk about Yaga the Insatiable. You can see I've actually, I was one chicken short and I decided, you know what, screw it. I'm going to stick Yaga the Insatiable in as one of the chickens that I just eat. Because you know what, for a, for a free login champion, I mean, it's hard to complain because he's free. I love the glowing eyes. That's cool and everything. But if you look at his skills, he's got the chance of placing a 5% poison on his A1, 40% books up to 50%. So that costs four epic books just to make that happen. And the epic books might go here and they might go here. And that really stinks. You have potentially two poisons that can come off this on a four turn cooldown. That doesn't even get better. It doesn't even get to 100%. And basically, I'd say Kale is better, but we also pulled Frozen Banshee the other day. Frozen Banshee gets two big poisons on her A1. She could just do this again and again and again, basically as long as poison sensitivity is up, which she also places. Just, there's, no, there's no chance. It goes to a three turn cooldown. So on a three turn cooldown, she's getting tons of poisons. I would love to build Frozen Banshee out. I was actually torn between building out Frozen Banshee as the next six star and Rathalos Blademaster. Frozen Banshee would be easier to build because we do have the rare books for it. She does read a lot of books, but let's say we got five, we got four, that's nine. We got, that's 15. So she needs 15 books. I think we actually have, yeah, we've got plenty. I actually forgot to use my books during CVC. Whoops. Don't don't tell the clan. Are you are you watching clan? Whoopsie. Sorry. Um, I I did what I could though. Uh, actually, we we actually still have this open for for what? How long is it going to be open? Another hour. So we can kind of just just take a look at what we did. You know, I pulled in forty two k. You can't be too hard on me. And Oversoul, my alt account, pulled in another 70k. So collectively, I'm pulling in a lot. So hey, shut up. I'm, I'm doing what I can, people. Anyway, um, we have 
enough food for the next six. But I want to do a couple of pulls first. Oh, and there's one more thing I wanted to review. Because basically, th this, these are the two next goals that I've got. I've got the target goal of reaching Spider 14. Uh, I'm not going to run Spider today. But, uh, well, actually, maybe I might. I might do one Spider run uh, afterwards, you know, toward the, toward the end. But I did reach Spider 14. So we can actually cross that off the list because we've achieved it. Put a big X there. Uh, so the next goal is going to be to reach 21.7 mil in Brutal. Right now, we are getting, this is also a good time to check this out. Uh, right now, we're doing 15 million on Brutal. So the hope is that basically if I bring in one more good DPSer, such as Rathalos Blademaster, and maybe also bring in Frozen Banshee, maybe have Frozen Banshee replace Sun Wukong, because Sun Wukong is really not doing a lot of damage to the clan boss anymore. It's cool that he can keep getting back up. It's a nice mechanic, but it's more helpful elsewhere. Like I, it's It's a big part of how I'm able to farm Spider, but... I'm hoping I can get an extra 5 million out of a good DPS so we can cross off the next thing. We can one key brutal and then we can work on getting through nightmare. Um, and just for fun, let's see, we're doing 27, almost 28 million on hard in a single key on normal, same kind of thing. And then on easy, we're getting almost 50 million. And I mean, there there is only about 19 million that you have to do on norm on uh, easy, but uh, you know, it it is what it is. It's it, there's not much point in doing overkill on the normal uh, boss. So let's see, what am I stalling? Is there anything else I wanted to discuss? Uh, there's super not. Ba basically, Yaga sucks because Frozen Banshee's better, Kale is better, probably literally any other epic is better. He's terrible. Um, so what we could do is make our five star foods because they do have enough for that. So that's one. And there is an event going on. So I could even put some brews in to try to get a few extra points because we do, we do have a number of juicy rewards we could be going after. I got, and here's part of why Rathalos is the obvious choice as well. I already have, in the Altar of Souls, I already have enough to get Rathalos to two star. I mean, I could go ahead and do that right now. There's, there's actually no reason not to anymore. Because I've already acquired enough souls that I can get him the extra attack off the second star. So he's getting extra HP off the first star, extra attack off the second star. I have not, I haven't actually decided what blessing I'm going to give him, but whatever blessing it is, it is going to pay dividends. I'm probably not going to go with um, what I gave her. I gave her Brimstone. Because Brimstone does give you that 15% um, chance of brocking, but, but she's kind of special. Because she gets three hits here. She gets four hits here. She gets four hits here. So she's getting at least a triple hitter. So she's got all kinds of extra damage that gets added in. With Rathalos, I'm wondering if we actually want to give him something that's going to crank up his damage to 11 because he does have this move where every other use of it... Um, actually, that's, that's not the part that matters. The part that matters is it ignores the boss defense. And where is the thing that uh, cranks up his damage? Because he does have um, every other hit. Oh, it's here. It's every fifth skill used by this champion deals 200% more damage. So it's kind of like every five skills he uses, he's doing about, I guess, seven skills worth of damage. So I, I don't know. That's worth looking into. Uh, but for now... For now, I'm going to just level these. So we're going to eat Yaga the Insatiable. Sorry, Yaga the Insatiable. So we have all our Mage Killers leveled all the way up. I want to look at the Champion Training event. 
this is what we got just from that. I, yeah. So we're going to grab this. I'm going to summon mortal soul stones today. So this, this is an extra soul stone. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't super careful and looking ahead at this, but let's see. We are about 500 points away from getting more blade master points. So I think what I will do, particularly for the sake of the video and for the sake of, of demonstrating what I like to do on my main account, is I do like to level with some brews. We'll put in eight. That seems to be a good number. That gets her to level 28. So we're gaining 27 levels instantly. And we're doing this with five different units. So we'll do it with her. Whoops. Oh man, you guys just witnessed me make a, a whoopsie. I meant to do that on a new unit. So we're going to get a little bit more points than usual, but that was not that was not efficient. That d damn it. I didn't mean to do it that way. Basically because that that next set of brews that only got us 7 levels for 8 brews. This gets us 27 levels for 8 brews. That's the efficient way to do it. So you guys saw me make a whoopsie. But you know what? It's more points. We have enough brews to spare for now. I want to get lots and lots more in future. I try to be sparing with the brews. But if we go back to the events, we got, uh, wow, we got almost 750 points doing that. So we got the extra Blade Master points. I just wanted to make sure we got a couple extra. As long as we get to. I suppose the next milestone is to get to 600 points here. And we can take these right now. I'm going to keep the energy in. It, you, you'll probably notice some some of you even comment that it kind of irritates you that I leave energy stashed in places. But honestly, if I don't need it immediately, I, I want it there for when I do. So I'm going to leave it there temporarily. But I think at this point, it is time to call on our good friend Shardio for luck. So I'm going to start I'm going to start with the altar of souls. And if we look at the wish list, this is the wish list. I'll try to get my hat going uh good and I can never get this hat straight. It is a very cheap, flimsy hat, I know, but I like it, and it gives me luck, so, you know, it is what it is. So, hey, it's me, Shardio, and I am the same guy, you know. I'm the same guy, and really, y you know what I want most of all? I want a good soul stone for Kale. I've been holding out on the for the merchant. I mean, Yaga the, <laughs> the Insatiable came. So thank thanks RN Jesus for for that useless champion showing up. But basically I I want a good one. Um I would love to get one for War Maiden or any of these three. If we get one for Frozen Banshee today, there is a chance that I might boot it and build Frozen Banshee instead of Rathalos because we might get even more damage out of her specifically for the clan boss. But I think basically RN Jesus Ghost in the Machine, Master of all things uh, luck-based. Please give us some we want. I'm not going to be too specific. So we got Luria. That's not a champion we have. Getting a rare. It is Gnarlhorn. Now, we don't have Gnarlhorn. But this is actually a good thing to hold on to because Gnarlhorn is maybe the best thing for the Phantom Shogun, which we will probably want to farm at some point. And Hill Nomad. For a second there, I got excited. I thought I could see War Maiden, but no, it's the it's the other Red Sonia looking champion. We don't have Hill Nomad. We're probably never going to build Hill Nomad. Oh, we're getting a legendary, and it's Venus that is probably never going to happen. So we're getting another epic. We're getting Tolf the Maimed. More like Tolf the Lame. And finally, we're getting Gladiator. 
That's another champion I'm super likely to not ever build. So we got more gold coins. We can we can exchange these for various things. Oh, you know what? We can go to the Soul Merchant. No, we can go to the Mystic Market. We can get one more stone right now. So Iron Jesus, come on. You know, uh, a Kale, Jamarsa, just some champion that we need a good soul for. Anybody. I'll take anything. We got Life Taker. More like Soul Stone Taker. Jeez. Jeez, Louise. All right, maybe Iron Jesus was um, was saving our good fortune for the Sacred Shard. So I, mean, I have a bunch of shards that we could pull at some point, but I'm going to wait for the 2x events at this point because I do think we have enough decent champions to build. But Iron Jesus, please give us Hassel and the Stalwart or someone else that's good. Amen. Ooh, we're getting a le legendary, and it's Rorik Wormbane. This is this is our first legendary to pull on this account. Is Rorik Wormbane good? I don't know. He's immune to stun, so th that's another option for clan boss. Deals 15% more damage to bosses and receives 15% less damage from them. You can kind of stack that in your favor. Uh, attacks one enemy. This is his counterattack skill as well. Ignores 50% of the target's defense. I think maybe for clan boss, this guy does have potential, particularly if you make him the stun target. This is a really interesting choice. Was this lucky? I don't know. Attacks one enemy. 80% chance of decreasing the target's turn meter by 75% if the skill fully depletes the turn meter. Also has an 80% chance of placing the stun. And of course you can book this all the way up to a 100% uh, chance of doing both. So that's pretty strong. It's similar to something that, that the epic Tayrel can do. It's a little bit stronger than Tayrel's. And then you have attacks one enemy two times. Each hit has a 40% chance of placing stun. So this guy just likes to put out those stuns. This is somebody that um, I'd probably never build on my main account. So you guys can let me know in the comments, do you think this guy is a decent pull? Because I'm really not sure. A lot of people complain when they pull him, but on a super duper early account, this, uh, you know, the hound from Game of Thrones looking mofo, uh, he could be account changing. I don't know. So I'm still going to go for Rathalos Blademaster, and I'm going to build him out for the clan boss, but Rorik Wormbane might go on the list. I just, I just don't know. What do you guys think? I want to hear from some of you guys. Uh, Burrito, if you're watching, I want to hear from you. And it occurs to me, uh, all the extra points that I was that I was piling in, I probably also could have got them by doing the whole six star thing. But here, we're gonna six star the Blade Master. That does complete a challenge for us. It's been a while since I looked at the challenges because I realized it was gonna be an age before we get to this point. But in fact, here it is. We've got a rank six force champion, which basically means we need to win a campaign battle with four champions of level 60. Hey, we could do that right now. And why not? We can just take Kale and bring in the 60s. There's our 60s in. And what am I doing? Um, We'll do it this way. Might as well finish it. Get our free legendary book. Have a nice little victory lap here. So... We get to complete this last one. We immediately go for energy, which is not what I meant to do, but whoops. 
you know, I just said I like to uh, I like to save it until I need it. Well, I guess I'll use it now. Um, and we still got to do the equipment one as well. That is something I can do later. All right, for now, for, especially since we we pulled out some extra energy, why don't we just go in and do a spider run? So I have two different kinds of spider runs that I do at this point. I have a dungeon farm that I'll, I'll run this on spider 10 with three food. And it's slow, but it, it gets the job done. And then I have my dungeon pushing team, which is the one that I used to complete uh, this spider. Spider 14. Didn't make it through spider 15 yet. Um, I'm not using Apothecary in the party, so that's something that, that could be used to the advantage. But basically, as long as we're dealing with Magic Affinity or Spirit Affinity, any kind of combination that includes Magic Champions and then Sun Wukong means the Spiderlings will always gravitate towards Sun Wukong first, making him the perfect spider tank, because basically whenever he goes down, you have a three count until he gets back up. And this is part of what I like about Sun Wukong. Now, I'm not going to pretend that this is the absolute best champion to have picked at the beginning of the game as our free special champion for Spider. Because a lot of um, content creators actually chose a champion specifically to help with Spider. And they chose, uh, what's his name? Mordecai. Mordecai the Burned. Mordecai the uh, Horribly Scarred. Mordecai the spider killer. And he's good at it because Mordecai can put HP burn on everything. He's also got really good synergy with Rathalos Blademaster, which would have been nice to have, but there. He's been knocked down. At this point, the spiders will choose the next target, which appears to be Kale in this case. But now he's back, so now they have to kill him again. I completely forget offhand how, how fast or slow uh, Spider-14 is on this account at this point. But we do have Xeno to work down the Spider as quickly as possible. She does do quite a bit of work. And that's why I changed from using Kale as the solo champion to Xeno. Even though Xeno isn't even in lifesteal, it doesn't matter because she's so fast that by the time she gets killed... She instead gets to use her passive, and she comes right back. So she doesn't even die. She just returns to 50% health, immediately goes back to doing tons more damage. And most of the time, the hits are going towards Sun Wukong anyway. She also has decreased attack, which helps. It helps the survivability of the team. She's also got that leech, which helps supplement if you don't have lifesteal. That's also going to help with the boss, so we can probably get everybody out of lifesteal too. I'd kind of like to put Kale into something a little more uh, nuky. So when I have good pieces of um, Savage, I'll put them on Kale. Rathalos Blademaster, I'm still not sure how I'm going to build him out. But now we have Rourke, Rourke Wormbane. So there is, um, I really would like to build Rorik Wormbane. I'm going to add him to the list of, uh, of champions we're potentially pulling souls for instead of Rathalos, because Rathalos, we have the chance to get up to a four-star soul. I might stop at three stars, because it's, it's like I said with other events. I really don't want to devote too much energy to going after too many events. I find it just way too hard on my time um, and uh, I have other things that I'd like to do with that time. There's so many better things to do. There are better games to play. There are better pursuits to follow. Damn, this is a long spider fight. I feel like this was a mistake coming in here. I don't, I don't think there's really much else to show you guys anyway. So, I mean, I could leave it running and just sit here with you guys watching this slow-ass spider fight. 
It helps to have turn meter control, which I didn't bring. It would be nice to bring in somebody like, say, um, Armager. Armager can do the turn meter damage. My armager is pretty fast. Honestly, maybe that is who I should be bringing for, for pushing Spider. The two revivers are are good for, for in case anybody dies, but basically nobody's really in danger of dying at this point. It's, it's mostly just slowly chipping away at the spider. Kale could also be a lot faster. I, I kept cranking up Kale's damage, and at this point I think his speed has taken too much of a dip. I've put Zeno in the lead, so we're getting an extra 30% speed off her. Kale's speed at this point is something like 130, but it gets to about 160 thanks to Zeno. But it means that in the arena, it's really easy to cut off Kale. So we've been in here for five minutes. That's kind of unbelievable. So, I'm not going to be running this team regularly at all. C come to think of it, I don't even remember how long this spider fight took the first time. I just know that it was a safe enough run. They will get it eventually. They're just very slowly but surely wearing down the spider. Rathalos Blade Master can probably help. We definitely don't need two revivers in here. That's what I'm noticing. Um, I'm gonna end the video here. There, there, there's nothing going on. I, I'm stubborn and I'm gonna stay in until we, uh, we win. But I'm just gonna leave it running. Um, but. What do you guys think of Rorik Wormbane? That's that's the closing question. That, that's what I want to know from you guys. If anybody's got an opinion, should I build Rorik Wormbane next? Given that he's got the ability to tank a stun from clan boss, he does more damage to bosses. His counterattack is a very hard-hitting defense-ignoring move. So I could probably build him to 100% ignore defense and have him absolutely slam the clan boss just about constantly give him some counterattack mechanics so uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments anyway thanks for stopping by see you in the next video take care of yourselves